going to continue. And last time we were like, and uh, I think well, bookmark is going to work. Marked for death. So we were thrown into j jail, and we are trying to rescue a guy because we need to escape from the north. Uh, we were actually captured here by the dark elves, and we have been roaming around last last time. So we are in the Nafta mines, and Nafta is something that burns. So let's see if we have a yeah, we have some Nafta with us. But we don't have a torches because there there could be a big boom if we if we light the torch. something. What's that? Hatchling Wyvern. <laughs> it's guarding, guarding a chest. <clears throat> I suppose it can be frozen. Maybe. But this monster is actually, they made a made a clay, clay monster and photograph it. So it's, this is made with the same technique than Doom Monsters because 3D modeling software weren't as good back, back in the day. Okay, it, it wasn't. Okay, it don't ha doesn't have any supplies. Okay, it's... So it, it was a trap chest. So let's see. Some, some healing potions and we are all good to go. Plenty of food, so no problem. Oh, more, more enemies. Yeah, this is th this is the tactic that you if you want the uh, initiative you are going to freeze some guys here. They are doing rather quick work of those enemies. Rations. There are plenty, plenty of rations. Isn't going to be a ah, anti venom. This this is rather useful. Grapple starting staring at the oven intentionally. He waited for the boy to explain himself. You tapped me on the shoulder. You wish it to speak to me? Graf rumbled. No. A voice answered behind. I did. Okbar. I had at my 
at first thought myself deluded, but I see I am not. How is it that you are here? I heard you that you, your head had been pitted on a stake outside the Sarasagoth. Lies. Uh, not at all. Who live in the Northlands bent the Delacan's will. Providence would have seen that he posted guard outside my cell, who was at close cousin and sympathetic to my situation. He bought po time for my escape. So he's probably referring to first escape. So your cousin's head now hangs on your uh, in your stead. You have a great responsibility on your shoulders. Ah. All the more reason to see the end of Delegas' reign of power. He shall pay his blood for mine, for each offense against my kin. I will rip a double against his flesh. I will allow him no quarter, give him no mercy, sway no polo against him. For all has, he has done for, to our free people, I should think you would agree, Okkar. On the grace of, of all that he has slain, I swear that my cause is yours, Korath. However, I may aid you, you need to uh, only ask. But all this talk is fruitless. We must first escape this place, or there shall be nothing left to avenge. I have been told that by someone who were taken captive here before, that there is a river that runs underground and mixes with the Istabadi river. I've seen it with my own eyes, but the full fumes that come from it may rub the strength from a man. On an occasion, I have seen some adventurous men wearing masks made of bone and cloth. If we three had then, I believe we could make uh, an escape. Hmm, I wonder if it is providence that we have already obtained them. Take this one and make good, uh, good your escape. I see that uh, there are many in the Northlands who will have amends to make on this war of Delacans has been halted. In amends, I have no interest, Opgar. I am no long past thoughts of the throne in Sarsagoth. I dream only of an end of the, the, to this nightmare. It is sadness that those who must uh, uh, most should lead of the wish of anything other. But I will not force you to take the, that which you do not want. You are not a honorable creature, Korath. Small comfort in a world gone mad. Go up, Gar, and good health. Let us divide and conquer. He's so badass. Korath is so badass. Okay, I wonder what where the oak bar was. Uh, there's a chest. Right here. More nafta. Okay, it, it didn't explode. I, th I think it used to like explode. You were using torch. Let's go and head back to the trigger. Yes, leave. As he fit the vapor mask over his mouth and nose, he studied the water before, uh, for him. What he as he poured in a never-ending stream into a rock cave where he knew it must eventually empty back into open air and freedom. Freedom. Uh, breathing deeply through mask, he felt his head finally clear, and he dropped into the river. Grass splashing in beside him, the icy water was almost painfully against his skin, and he found uh, uh, it somewhat ironic. Uh, the vapor mask had finally allowed him to breathe a little easier, but now the cold had taken that luxury away. Struggling against his pain, he let the water carry him until he reached the dark mouth of the cave that would swallow him up as soon as he loosened his grip on the sides of the cavern. With a deep breath, he, uh, deep as he was capable of, he let it go. The dark beast sucked him into his gullet and Owen's world disappeared into total darkness. Owen saw a dim light. It was hazy and without the form, uh, but it quickly began to grow in intensity and definition and rustling beside it. 
pain, a dull throbbing pain in his head and limbs that hurt more with each beat, a beat of his heart. His eyelids flickered open and he could make out Gorat's form standing over him, though it was shorted and somewhat unreal like a dream. But he knew it wasn't a dream, he knew he hadn't survived this trip through the water cave and with the realization he was alive. He managed to whisper hoarsely, if you ever put us through that again, I will invent a cantrip whose sole purpose, he begins to speak more rapidly and currently, is to cause you to fall desperately in love with the war dog. <laughs> may, the, may the two of you live happily ever after. Gorath smiled unusually at the for the normally sedate mortal water still dripping from his hair. I'm glad your sense of humor has returned. When you came out on the river banks and did not breathe, I was afraid you were lost. Owen stood slowly and painfully, Gorat helped him with, with his back and soon they were ready to leave. So that's that's one one missing completed. Where are we? Okbar arrived here shortly before you and described a pair, a human boy and Korath of the RDN. I was going to keep the reward for myself, but he insisted you were deserving of it. He is as reputable as I have heard him of him. It could also be that he wished to stay, save your your life. <laughs> Point. Uh, save your plate for someone more deserving. I will pay you fee. 200 uh, gold and not a royal more of it. Put in our bellies and beds to rest on, an acceptable exchange for a man's life. I would ask, ask one more thing of you, and when uh, then we will go on from this place, would you know Would you know where the, we would come from certain witch woman who is known as Kulik? I've heard word of her, yes, fled south of Cairn and west of the fork. Best of the fork, which leads to Yeek. Probably down there, heading, healing up Dilakan's dogs. I wouldn't know our business is at the end, Irmelin. Good fortune and help to you. Okay, so let's find this Kulik. Game could not be said. All right, let's go. Let's go. So, map week. There's, there's something over there. I, I think I, I like this that I gave this spyglass to these guys. Get the chili towel. Ah. Let me ease. Ah, they were waiting for them. Ouch. Yeah, that's an after. Apparently it's it's for one battle. Beautiful mass suicide.
and then we can actually... Oh yeah, I haven't actually used the lightning staff. Well, I have, but... It, it, it has it had uses. So... Pretty much the same than in the first place, or I just saved the damn thing for all time. So never used it, because it had only like 12 charges. And wizard staffs do not do not exactly grow on trees in this game. There's like couple you can find, but not not more than that. I hate when they die in piles. Grat looked at the sm a small well and couldn't help but remember the day it was spilled. The hole was no sooner dug than the skies opened up. Rain fell for several straight hours, making the completion of the job moody slippery mess. He smiled as he remembered his friend uh, Drolek, Drolek slipping backwards in the la large puddle, how they had laughed. His smile faded as he remembered the day Drolek left to follow Murmandamus. He had not returned. Come on, said Korat, let's fill up our pouches with the fresh water and leave this place. So he knew this well. Korat paused in the front of the door. Then, much to the Owen's amazement, he pushed it open without knocking and walked inside. Your husband has at last returned, though he, he had a wife. Husband, also clan leader, but by what right? Upon a time, you held all these titles with a dignity and honor. <laughs> Around you, the clan Ardenin has skirted like a golden dragon, ready to rise up at your word to crush the whatever lay in your path. Where is that dragon now? Where, where does it sleep? I have sleepy dragon. Um, Kulik, is that all you dream of beneath your strange stars, a dead past? What value in our Murmandama speeches did we gain but, but to learn that we are weak? In what spirit did we discover in defeat ex uh, that we were corrupt from within? The time has come but to plant the place and look to our own, to put down the monsters that we, we have become. Interesting uh, outlook from Korath. What destiny would you have? of the mortal Korath. Should we bend our heads to the earth once more, enslave ourselves to the will of the Eldhild, who live in El Elvandar, uh, much as uh, we trembled beneath the Valhero black in black century past? The girl Algrana Al will not accept us back in the fold as family, but instead as slaves. You have seen our brethren that have returned to them. What are you uh, what are they but gelded bulls in eleven servitude? She has actually, uh, he has actually a uh, younger wife. I know, but uh, no, not whatever they rejoice or weep under their midnight stars, but their children grow to great ages. They trade fear freely under the kingdom sum. We must fight for so little as a loaf of bread and kill our cousins, lest they steal our kids from their dreaming. It's the time we become more than savages. Why have you come here, Gorat? Certainly not to debate uh, a love that be between us is dead. Ah. No, I need your help, but for a short, short time longer, and then I will be away and leave you to your own. So much I ask you from my, my former wife. You then may be free to do as you say, see fit. And in the name of the one I loved once, I listen and I will do as I can speak or crying. We need to we need your crying, what road will lead us to the safety? I didn't consult the stars for your answer. Hey. For I looked upon it for a days since you left. Delica masses on the kingdom's borders. The banners of the clans 
Creator, Dragals, and Lord of the Flutter in the fields near Raglam. I would seek no passage south through the teeth that leads by the kingdom, fortresses of North Warden and High Castle. Doubtless Narab shall be at their head. Narab has turned on the old wolf. Sarsagot is encircled with his clan. He shall not trouble us. Nevertheless, uh, the armies are gathering, and you will find none among the, them friends. Neither may you pass across the Great Northern Mountains to Moralin. Moral works with the six to ensure that none of the former clans of the Greenheart may escape through the fringes of Elvendar. Lim Skrakema feast on his soul. He believes with, if he cannot run, he will join his accursed march. Again, your only means to es of escape lies, lies among Incinel. For whatever reason, the six have allowed the snows to lift. Perhaps they are otherwise occupied focusing their magics. The six. Who six uh, now, who now serve Delacan? From what I clan do they arise? Perhaps their loyalties, loyalties may be reversed. They are m mighty in their arts husband, far beyond even my powers. They claim the ancient title of spell weavers. Though they are vastly different from those of our magical cousins in Elvandar. Sounds like a high path. Some, some suspect they hail from the serpent people. <laughs> but long it has been since I touched the mind of those folk in Northlands. So serpent people were enemies in a in a in a, in a later later book series. Well, I know what's called in Finnish, but I don't know what's called in English because it was stupid because when, when the Raymond Day Faced books started to appear in Finland, uh, translated, they started from, not from the start, but like uh, newest series, which was like to totally idiotic. Uh, the Serpent people are bad, really bad, and this sounds like they are actually not the low path magicians, but high path, which is interesting. If we are to sleep undetected to the insulin, we may require your skills of illusion. One such as you summoned when I first escaped Delacan's man. Ah, you know what, uh, not what you asked. That spell was great in its fashioning. I left my power nothing for a month. I cannot follow you where you go, for I believe yours is covered's path. Owen Pitt said it, unable to pick meanings out of the heart of shouting mortal tongue, he nevertheless understood the tone of the conversation between Gorath, a strange mortal woman. Whatever they were saying, they were in agreement. She will speak with you, Gorath snapped. His face flushed with the rage as he, as he stalked to a window. Listen to what he, she, she says. But how will I understand what she's saying? Owen said, I don't know mortal. Well, there are a bit, Kulik whispered, uh, glinting to his side. She gently took his hand and began to stroke it. Well, there are a bit, Kovana. You will understand. It seems days had passed. What happened? Olum shook his head and was shocked to find himself lying on the ground. Above him, Gorath and Kulik were watching him in this interest as he regained consciousness. What kind of spell did you cast on me? What you have thought is special, Kulik replied helping Owen to his feet. You will now understand all I speak to you, and you will also find your skills as a spell crafter are much greater than they were before. Yes. Walk around a bit, my husband and I have more to discuss. If we speak as should encounter more death and the six, I should like to be better prepared to meet them. There's a spell crafted once I may teach the boy. It's an illusion which bends uh, perceptions to those nearby in a such way that I cannot be seen. For you, who you truly are. Instead, you have seen uh, as a resident of the area which you wish to enter. It has been specifically tailored to the town of Harlech. Perhaps the use of you when you uh, deal with the murders. If you have 800 silver, I may teach it to open. Damn, woman. 
or an equal sum of gold I might buy the silver I require so see so using silver actually so why you would charge us for this while I would uh, be in my rights to do so I like require silver because it's needed for the fastening of the spell do you have uh, the coin yes the money is yours do what must be done very well Olwen please come here for a moment I'm not going to enter Kansas on the floor again, am I? Well, yes. You shall remain on your feet throughout the fall lesson. We shall begin. Time passed. He said, swimming up the details of the spell, Owen repeated cantrip line by line back to Kolek. When she seemed to satisfied he had learned at these details, she nodded her head. You have learned well. Go and rest for a few moments. I thank you for saving our lives. Without your assistance, my company and I would have perished under Delekan's hand. Okay, so he, he guessed that her, his wife was actually actually dealing with the magic. I would not wish your death, but I'm not to think, thank for the origin escape. What? Interesting. Why would you think me part of it? Because you are you were my, my wife. Uh, Magic was involved while we were captive. Someone releases, releases us from our bonds. I had assumed that you were some responsible. Someone else asked your favor, Gorat. I wonder who. It was not I. I should have questioned who it is and what their motives for doing so would be. Interesting. So let's check, check. Let's see what happens. And the shot light shall lie. Owen didn't feel any different. All seemed normal, save of a very faint glow that seemed to surround his body. He held up his hand and wiggled his fingers while Gorath watched him be moved interest. I'm afraid your spell didn't work, he said. Perhaps you should, should try it again. But it did work. You can't see the effects because the spell was specifically designed for the Mord Elf. Let's go. Okay. Let's see what happens. Hello, guys. Yeah, they're not attacking us. Korak knocked on the wooden door. They were greeted by the uniformed mortal who started at the, stared at the oven for a moment before ushering them inside. After leading them into the back room, the guard presented them to Mordelf. Mordelf, what do you have you? Make it brief. Sarsakotham has been besieged, North Rarab, Narab, an unknown number of conference, free in descent, trapped in the dungeons and fled north. Delacan requests that you and the rema remaining members of the Six lend immediate assistance. Madness! I have uh, my troops in position, ready to march, and our target is only weeks expedition from here. If we leave now, we will not be in position when the time comes for the stri final strike. Surely Delacan doesn't intend to divert uh, us into the s snow plains to chase handful of cards. They the intentions of your father are known to me. I merely bring his message. Further, he requests progress reports on your activities. If he, he were not my father, I would slit his impertinent throat. What does he wish to know? The six. Your father has expressed concern that he, he has been inadequately informed about the activities of the six. He demands your immediate, immediate report. Father knows as well as how I how the six conduct their business. They do not report to me anything beyond complaints of their lodgings are too cold and that they do not care for the food. Okay, they don't, no, they don't like cold and they do not like the food. Okay, interesting. I do not trust their motives. They speak only to their leader and he comes only when it suits him. If it were my decision to make, I would turn them all into the snow and let them freeze. 
but they are crucial to the attack Northwarden, are they not? Northwarden is of little importance. It is called beyond that concerns me. What shall happen should we have Mormon damage back among our ranks? Interesting. How would that be possible? Mormon damage is dead. I will answer my father's question, messenger, but I'm not here for your own curiosity. You have answered all we have been, have been directed to discover. Enthralling. Now take the, me, uh, leave of me and send my father my good wishes. You will, Lord Morlov. Okay, so we got some information, but nothing much. Okay, can we escape? Okay. This is not good. I think the spell went out. Ah, there's a two two mages. This is not good. Maybe, maybe it was time time spell, so so it it was like okay ten. Let's do something. Mates, mates need to needs to carry carry this uh, fight. Uh. I don't le left me. Okay, you can freeze as well. Okay, the mage is actually trying to escape, and I'm not in a best position. So I need to move here. Then maybe I can get a shot. Yeah, he's almost out of the range. Now, now I can actually. And he missed. Like 14% chance to miss. Okay, you are unfrozen. Not anymore. They froze the Gorath for a good, good file. Just just thinking drinking a lot of magical potions. Okay. 
he's down. Yeah, it's it's funny that people have like sports that can conduct the lightning. Metal was fun, I don't know about, about you, but there was a point there where I wasn't certain which way this was going to go. Gorat said to uh, Gorat. Said to Gorat. Um, but, but... Do you know the brass word? Yeah. Okay, so we need to return to the Mordi of and ask the password. Okay, so no. Okay, so now we just need to go straight in, in and straight out. Not the deli around. As my father sent you once more to find out, I have been competent to feed myself, or is there something you forgot? Oh, we forgot the password. The guards of the internet bridge have turned back goods stolen from the kingdom. We need the password for the day to authorize the movement of the goods across the bridge. Where do you go with, the, with them? With us back to the mustering of Sarek Sagoth, the supplies are desperately needed there. Many hungry soldiers to feed. My soldiers are hungrier. Yep, new orders. You are to stop the Harlech with the shipment before proceeding north. We shall take what's needed. I don't think Delekan will be too pleased. Delekan will be damned. If he likes, he may, may come here and retreat the goods himself. But I will take them. Tell the men at the bridge you are Serpent Slayer. I shall expect supplies immediately. Okay, now, 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 let's get out, out of here. Do you know the password? Yes. Servant Slayers. He said, staring the murder guard deep in the eye. And that comes from the murder himself. Now shall I return and tell him you were not, not allowed this across. The guard stared hard at him. Very good then, you may pass. They had been recognized. Cursing that they had come so close, slipping past the guard, Gorath wanted Owen to prepare for the worst. Uh, we have been recognized. They have orders to kill us both. Oh, yeah, I forgot the spell. That's expensive armor in, in assault, so that's that's why I'm taking it. They had poison arrows, but couldn't use them. 
Man up our approach them, still breathing heavily from the fight, Owen barely managed to wave the greeting at the kingdom soldier who lumbered towards them. Finn. Boy, you are just about the luckiest horse some I ever see laid eyes on. If we hadn't heard the communication down the pass, I think the goblins would have been having no bulls to do about now. Nearly took out all your friend here until I see that he appeared to be fighting at your side. Now I don't know what you think or you are doing in the Northlands with these mortals. It's very important that you take us to Prince Arutha. What? The cold's gotten you in, boy. What makes you think I'm going to take you time off your my duties and trot you behind down to Krondor? Prince Arutha isn't in Krondor. He's likely still stationed within the Krondorian Lancer just out, outside of Teamwood, near Sethanon. We need your you to escort us to his camp. Why would he be there? And why would he want to see a boy and a mortal? The prince he just sent us to spy on them, all right. They would never suspect Scarly 19 year old boy and mortal, so that's why he sent us. We have information about plant attack on the kingdom and it's vital we get this information on him. How do I know you are telling the truth? You don't, but if you don't take us and the mortal over on North Warden, do you really think you are going to be able to sleep, sleep with yourself? Okay, that's, that's so wrong. <clears throat> I have to give you one thing. You're a gambler. You're sure don't be low. Come on, let's get moving. The team should hail and back from here, and Prince won't want won't want to keep waiting. Let's move. Just get get us the hell out of here, Lieutenant. The sooner the better. Evaded and captured. And has uh, last we were intercepted by your guards in the incident past the journey south to your camp here outside of Teamwood. Took many long days, but we moved within the great haste as our message is, is vital. Very interesting tale, but uh, how do I know word of it, it is true? How can I believe that this scroll you have given me is a genuine article and not forgetting Trump by Delecan? You don't. <laughs> I was very explicit with you before, Gorath. I refuse to act until I have a word from Senior James. He's uh, told us to give you a message, it, but it's short, sir. What exactly did he say? He said to tell you that there's a party of at mothers. At a good time will be had by all gods. Laurie and Jimmy used to have that phrase years ago. All right then, James has just saved a pair of you, your necks, and me a good portion of grief. Now I must settle down a matter of finding out what the elegance is thinking. If this report is correct, then I must but the best force he could muster would be a number at the most 2,000 warriors, but pitiable spit in the eye of the castle assault. You believe he has something else in mind? Undoubtedly, as James in indicated in his brief note, it would take some spectacular strategy of Telecan's part to take the castle, and honestly, he has never displayed that kind of wit. We faced him before, when he was still a field captain for Mormandamus. Whatever he is going to, he will no doubt hit fast and run for the high ground. Now we have to establish where that high ground is. Shall we accompany them to North Warden? No, I have much more important task for you, though I doubt you will find this exciting. I need you to return to Krondor immediately. Inform Master Magic and Park for, of what the situation. Considering his tactics, I have a feeling that Delecan may have a few surprises story for us. If that bastard brings us uh, brings anything magical to bear, I want to know what it is and how to counteract it. You leave immediately. When rivers run blood, fifth chapter. James' breath emerged from his lips as a frosty white cloud. Below him, Signor Locklear nicotted scrub brush as he worked his way up, um, up to the winding mountain path. He cursed expensively as 
a thorn bush got and the jinx of his leg guards and he paused to throw his friend an experienced throne. James smiled then turned to look out of the snowy peaks that marked the boundary of the no modern territory. Five after arriving at Northwater, Baron Cabot had called both he and Locklear into his meeting room. We are worried about James' story of Nighthawks. He was far more concerned that his magical advisor had not reported back from investigating possible murder activity uh, with the large band of the Dark Brothers approaching his castle. He feared that the old magician might have fallen into enemy hands. Investigating possible murder activity uh, with the large band of the Dark Brothers. And so reluctantly he has asked the two seniors to finish brother's work. Locklear alert puffing his face hollow by the mist. I thought I was going to have come down here and carry you up, James said currently. You shouldn't have stayed up all night with that serving girl. I didn't expect to have to get up at the crack of dawn, Locklear growled, yanking the twig from his chainmail. Mountain climbing and armor do not mix. Suddenly, the two singers wheeled at the sound of the horrible mewing. And if it weren't bad enough, I had to change you. You made to, uh, me get rocks in my best shoes and blistered. Do you know how mad I get when I my feet hurt? I get river bottom mud sucking badger watching mad. Excuse us. Go away. I'm busy right now agitating this air mortar. Begging your pardon, but I'm Signor James and this is Signor Locklear. We have been sent by the Baron Gabbard to find you. You are his magical advisor, aren't you? Just batters, please. I don't tend to titles much. Glad to meet you. I've just been out trying to get some information about this model. They have been getting too close to the castle and I was thinking, making my tongue or tongue each. Man can't respectfully eat that way. Have you learned anything about the attack? Only that there's six companies out of them creeping in the woods somewhere, but I don't know exactly where yet. I think they have got their own Magicans too. Magicans? The Baron will sorry to hear that. I'll wager we need to return to castle. Which way would be quickest? <laughs> Northman is that way. Yeah, that guy actually. 